Most people in Stratford are familiar with the store of Rio Thompson's. What they don't all know is the process by which all of this chocolate is made. I chose to narrow it down to Rio Thompson's most popular chocolate, the mint smoothie. When tourists come to Stratford, they're compelled to try one. Mint smoothies are not typical smoothies. They're not drinks you sip on a warm day, but they're chocolates you can enjoy any time. They come in little smoothies and the bigger smoothie bars. But how do they start out? Rio Thompson's purchases their specially made chocolate from a company located in Boston called Merkins. There's one ton of chocolate here when it's full. That's a lot of chocolate. The blocks are individually thrown into this melter. So normally we would spin it around like that so that it was liquid. But what the motor would do is the motor pumps the chocolate up through this pipe. Yeah. Cross yeah, here. Yeah. And then it would come through here so, and down in here. Yeah. The chocolate going in. Then we've got on this side, we have the mint smoothie center. The Wima puts the correct amount of chocolate and center into the mold so they have the consistency that they want for the mint smoothies. When it advances, a staff member will take it and shake it to level out the bottom. Then it's placed in the cooling tunnel for approximately 20 minutes. So the last time through, it's gonna come through like this. That guy's gonna knock on it, knock the chocolates out, and that's when they would knock out. And then it's the same thing, this belt would move, and then they'd be knocked out upside down. Chocolates now make their way to the staff waiting at the end of the belt. The staff will inspect the chocolates and place them in boxes. Mint smoothies are also made in bars, which include several flavors such as milk, dark, raspberry, and orange. The final product is here, ready for customers. Did you know that mint smoothies are shipped all over the world? Some places that mint smoothies went this year include Sweden, Canada, United States, Scotland, Australia, and the United Kingdom. 560 some odd thousand, I think. 